Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in to Outdoor Indoor Texan. Today I'm going to show you all my recipe for smoked meatballs. These are great for adding a touch of barbecue to your pasta dishes, making barbecue meatball subs, or simply eating them as a standalone smoky protein. So let's preheat the smoker, round up your ingredients, and let's get to cooking. First up, grab a mixing bowl. You'll need to combine these ingredients either by using your hands, a food processor, or a stand mixer. Since I have a stand mixer, I'm going to use that mixer's bowl. Now add one pound of ground beef and then one pound of ground pork. After the meats, toss in half a cup of breadcrumbs, half a cup of a finely diced yellow onion, half a cup of grated Italian cheese. I'm using a store-bought Italian cheese blend, but you can also play around with Parmesan, mozzarella, pecorino, you name it. And finally, two raw eggs, which will act as our binder for all these ingredients. If you've ever had a crumbly meatball, it's because the recipe had the wrong amount of eggs and or breadcrumbs. So make sure that you're following this to a T. Now before adding any aromatic herbs and spices, give everything a good initial mix. We're not looking for a perfectly blended consistency at this point, we're just wanting to get things started. And once the two meats look well blended and everything is starting to stick together, we'll be ready to add the rest of our ingredients. Toss in two tablespoons of Italian seasoning, two teaspoons of kosher salt, one tablespoon of black pepper, two cloves of minced garlic, and finally one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Now with everything in the bowl, turn on that stand mixer or your food processor or get those hands working. You'll be done when everything looks very well blended and the meat is sticky to the touch. Another helpful piece of equipment for this recipe is a wire rack, also known as a cooling rack. This will save you a ton of trouble when placing and removing your meatballs from your smoker. You don't absolutely have to have one, but it sure beats handling each meatball individually with tongs. Now let's start forming the actual meatballs. It's not rocket science, I usually just toss them from hand to hand or roll them between my palms until they've shaped up to a nice firm ball. I play around with different sizes, but do try to keep things uniform so they'll all cook around the same time frame. Also, don't pack the meat down hard in your hand because if you form them too tight, they'll usually come out really rubbery once they're cooked. This would be the time to get your smoker lit and preheated if you haven't already. You'll want to set whatever rig you're working with up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, make sure there's a space that'll fit all your meatballs that isn't sitting directly over the fire. We're going to be smoking these indirect. Once your meatballs are formed and the smoker's up to temp and showing that sweet blue smoke, let's head outside and throw them on. Today I'm working with a vertical smoker made by Pit Boss, but just about any smoker that can cook indirect at 250 degrees will work just fine. We're going to initially smoke these until their internal temperature is reading around 150. Time varies depending on what you're working with, but it usually takes me about 30 to 45 minutes to hit that temp. Okay, the meatballs are now reading 150 internal, so take them off the smoker so we can hit them with a glaze of barbecue sauce. You can use a brush like I am here, or if you really want to pile it on, try dipping the meatballs in a bowl full of sauce. This step is of course optional depending on whether you like barbecue sauce on your meat, but to those of y'all on the fence, I would urge you to at least try one or two with the sauce so you can make a comparison at the end. We're all done with saucing, so toss them back on the smoker until they're reading a finished 165 degrees internal. It's been about 20 minutes back on the smoker and the meatballs are reading 165, so it's time to take them off and head back to the kitchen. And just like that, you're done. They make for a really good looking plate when they're finished too. Tasting this batch, you get that familiar Italian meatball flavor thanks to all the herbs and spices we added, but that smoke also really stands out on its own. They're juicy, they're not rubbery, they're not crumbly, and the barbecue sauce caramelized perfectly on the outside. Also, look at that smoke ring inside that bite. The Pit Boss did not disappoint. Like I said at the beginning, these make for fantastic hints of smoky barbecue, whether you're tossing them into a bowl of pasta, making a killer barbecue meatball sandwich, or just sticking toothpicks into each one and passing them out your next party. Whatever way you do it, I can promise you they'll be a big hit. That'll do it for this one, and thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions or tips of your own to add, please feel free to leave a comment below. I always try to make myself available to my viewers, and I'll be happy to tackle whatever comments pop up. If you're new to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it if you considered hitting that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a thing, it certainly helps keep me going, and you'll have access to countless recipes with more great content to come. Alright y'all, take care.